Hi, everybody. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Um, today we'll be discussing about admission requirement for OSTP State University. We've talked about the graduate uh, program that are available for international students. But today we'll be discussing about the admission requirement. So I will ask you to please subscribe, um, share, and also click on the notification bell to get updates anytime we drop a new video. Please share this video, please, so that other people who want to come here to study in the United States can be able to ask questions. And I ask you to also comment, ask questions, and I'll be there to reply you all your questions, okay? So let's get started. So if you remember in our last video, we talked about the, the program that are available for international students. So under the program that are available for international students, where we have biology, cancer, helicopter science, and all those ones, you can see here, it's written as admission requirement for international students. So if you click on this page, it's going to take you down here. And the first thing we're going to be talking about here is the deadline for F1 student. So, uh, the deadline for F1 students for fourth semester is July 1st. That is the deadline for the application. For spring semester is November 1st. And for summer semester is April 1st. But most of the time, I always ask students to apply for fourth semester and spring semester because there is scholarship for these two semesters for international students. And I'll be talking about the scholarship in the next video. So for students who are within US here, want to transfer to OSTP State University for fourth semester, you have August 1st for the deadline, for spring semester, December 1st, and for summer semester, May 1st. Um, I'll, I'll also be talking about other university um, very, very soon, but because uh, this is where I finished my master's from, I want to talk about here, then I'll take, talk about other university later on, okay? But most importantly, um, there are something that is important here that you need to know. There's a basic admission requirement apply, apply to all graduate programs. Each program may have additional departmental requirements. So see departmental program admission requirement to find more information on specific program requirements. So for more requirements on each program, it is advisable for you to click on this link. It's going to take you to each program for you to know the application requirement. But in general, these are application requirements in general for F1 students for each program. But there are some programs who have earlier dates for deadline. Uh, because we already know that first semester is July for spring, but there are some programs that have earlier dates for our deadline. So it is advisable for you to check this program. We must see some program here today that will show you their own earlier dates. So if you want to mail your admission requirements to Austin State University, these are their uh, uh, what is it called, the mailing uh, admission requirement address. So you can send it to them and you can also send an email to them to ask questions. And also for you to upload your document, you can click on here to upload your document. Now let's talk about the international student application and admission requirements. So number one, completed graduate application. So it is advisable for you to complete your graduate application. And to complete it, you click on this link it's going to take you to where you need to fill your new application. You're going to create a login ID and all and every other things like that. Then you're going to review your application status. And here, for you to be able to know the application deadline for each program, you can click here. And where I said earlier on that there are some earlier dates for each program. So if you click here, you can see for biology here, it is March 1st. Can you see? That's for fourth semester. Why for spring is October 15th. They don't admit during summer. So they only have to during fall and spring. And um, you can also go here to check more. It's going to take you to each program. So you can see here, this is for doctor of education. Then when you move down for masters of science, it's biology here, you can click on them and check my information. This is computer science, that's for data and analysis, and also for computer science information, down, down, and down to computer science, mathematics instruction, computer science, computer method, for mathematics finance. 
So this is the major, these are the considerations. So you can easily check and see the requirement also. So back to the requirement we are talking about. So when you are done with filling the application, you are going to pay an application fee of $55. So I always tell people, uh, most importantly, if you are from Africa, Nigeria, Ghana, and other country, that it is better for you to route your ATM. So you go to your bank, they're going to write your ATM to be able to pay in dollars. So you just need to just use your ATM, put in your pin and everything and pay directly from there. But we have people here, you hear that you know you can trust and you can do exchange of dollar to Naira, you send Naira to their account and they're able to pay it here. Yeah, they can help you to do that. What you just have to do is to send the link of your application and they help you to pay it here, okay? So you don't need to go for, maybe go ahead and meet anybody else or something. If you have people here, you can help you to do that, that's fine. But it is advisable for you to route. Most of the people who have assisted to get a, to, to come here, I always tell them that they should route their ATM. I don't have people to pay unless those who I know very well. But most of the time, I always tell them route your ATM so that any fee you're going to pay, you're going to end up paying it yourself. Okay. Number two, and that you have to, that is very, very important, is the copy of your passport biographical page and a copy of your passport information page for your dependent. So if you are married and you want to come in here, maybe with your husband or your wife, it's advisable for you to have a passport biographical page where you are going to scan it and you're going to upload it where you are filling up your, uh, your admission here and everything. So if you have your dependent, maybe your wife or children, get their own passport also, scan it and upload it story where you're filling your application and everything like that. So it is very, very important that you do that, okay? So I'm going to stop here in this video. In my next video, I'm going to start from official copy of transcripts because I need to explain that one very well. So Merry Christmas to everybody and Happy New Year in advance. See you in my next video. So please subscribe, share, and um, click on the notification bell and please comment and like so that other people can also get more and more information about this. Thank you. See you in my next video. Peace out.